Hi there, welcome to Morning Sense. Today I'll be talking about the Mason Margiela Reebok collaboration of the classical leather. Let's go! What is up? I hope you're doing great today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Marty Kade and I usually make videos on the latest hype trends, sneaker news, as well as great alternatives. Now, if you're into those kinds of things, do subscribe to the channel and always be updated. The Mason Margiela Reebok collaboration continues with a tabby toe classic leather featuring Margiela's signature Bianchetto style. Kim Kardashian took to Instagram to share a pair of chalky, whitewashed trainers we'd never seen before. More than likely an upcoming global release rather than a custom pair made for her. The trainers seem to be a Reebok classic leather but with a mashup to the Mason Margiela tabby boot. Next, Aesop Nast shared a picture of his own pair confirming that these are indeed receiving a widespread drop. Later on, Mason Margiela and Reebok came together to officially launch the classic leather tabby. The design is a combination of two famed Mason Margiela house codes with one of Reebok's best known silhouettes. Reebok's fashion collaborations are second to none as the New England sportswear company is not averse to throwing out the rule book and trying something different. Following a tabby platform Insta Pump Fury, Reebok and Mason Margiela have given the classic leather a split toe makeover. If you think the tabby looks familiar and you are a fan of Mimi Yad, popular Filipino YouTuber, this is the same type of boots she shared in one of her vlogs as a dream pair of footwear, giving a seal of approval from one of the Philippines' upcoming fashion icons. Founded in 1988 by Belgian designer Martin Margiela and Jenny Myrens, this Paris-based fashion house has been pushing the boundaries since its inception. Mason Margiela crosses the fashion spectrum from its artisanal collection which has held the hood couture affiliation since 2012 through ready-to-wear and accessories. Mason Margiela became part of OTB in 2002. Along with the group's sister brands, Margiela continues to push the boundaries of modern fashion while celebrating its unique heritage. Also, I think the logo is pretty cool, a set of numbers from 0 to 23. These are actually Mason Margiela's unique product reference codes. For instance, manswear is 10. Jewelry 12, Footwear 22, Eyewear 8, Objects 13, and Fragrance 3. Former head designer of Givenchy and Dior, John Galliano was named creative director of the house in 2014, approaching tailoring, techniques, craftsmanship like a new explorer or painter. One who sees beauty in things that are often taken for granted, giving everything a newly enriched life. Deconstruction and heritage go hand in hand to create designs that showcase fashion as an art of meaning. He brings his sense of spectacle and creative mastery to the unique ethos of Mason Marjo. Whilst developing his own vision for the house, John Galliano has entirely respected the Martin Margiela state of mind, creating a fascinating organic process. Both the tabby and the classic leather are born in the 80s, 1988 and 1983 respectively, and are central to each brand's lasting identity. This collaboration is therefore the coming together of two era-defying icons and couldn't be more fitting. If you want to learn more about this epic fashion house, I highly suggest watching the 2017 documentary Re Margiela, which perfectly enscopes the birth of this legendary brand. And before we go on, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button down below and subscribing to the channel for more contents like this. During the fall of 2020, Mason Margiela and Reebok turned the Instapump Fury into a high fashion centerpiece. The silhouette's beloved performance-informed construction warped to better complement the tabby toe boots with which it was combined. Months after the collaboration's release, which was, to say the least, met with divisive responses, the two are teaming up once again, further meshing ideas atop the equally beloved classic leather. The classic leather tabby is crafted in black Napa leather with an EVA sole or ethylene vinyl acetate, a rubber-like material in softness and flexibility. The sneakers comes with a hand-painted white coating. This is the signature Bianchetto technique favored by Mason Margiela and will purposely chip and crumble with wear, which means from first wear, your trainers will start to disintegrate. And although once fragmented, you'll still be able to wear the trainers. Kind of weird for a brand new pair of sneakers, but yeah, that's fashion.
The sneaker also features hits of branding including a Reebok logo on the lateral side. The tongue hosts both Reebok signature vector logo and Margellis classic branding. As for the sizing, I would assume they run the same with the regular classics and tabby boots which are true to size. For wider feet, maybe half size bigger would be best. I still suggest trying them out first if you can, especially the tabby to get a closer fit. The upcoming collaboration between Reebok and Mason Margiela featuring the classic leather tabby has been scheduled for a release later this month on January 30th, 2021. Launching from both Reebok's and Margiela's website, the tabby classic leather will come with an elevated price tag of, wait for it, $350. Okay, so I guess if you're on a budget, this isn't really for you. Well, for us, actually. <laughs> Overall, I think these are aesthetically brilliant as expected from this legendary fashion house. The collab celebrates more than just the classics combined together but the art form from this matrimony. Reebok Classic Leather will continue to wow us with more reiterations to come and having Mason Margiela in the mix just raised the spice level of these sneakers higher than expected. Do I think they're worth $350 though? Uh, nah. <laughs> I don't think the resale value on these will be high as expected either. Though in the right market, one can make a pretty good profit out of them, but it will still be best to get one for yourself, especially if you're a fan of the fashion house and of the tabby shoes. I think this is a great collaboration that a select people would appreciate. The tabby itself had some people second guessing, and I have to admit I am one of those people. It takes a certain style of footwear to fully blend with the tabby and for the classic leather maybe it would have been best to keep the toe box alone this could have been a great opportunity for both mega brands to come up with you know something new there has just been so many collabs these days among high fashion and sneaker brands it would be refreshing to find one that would give us something new to hype about including the bianchetto technique does not count. I'm not a fan of it either, I'm sorry to say. It is very artistic and eye-catching and all, but I don't need my brand new sneakers to look old. I can easily get a pair of regular grey classic leather and wait 5 years for the Bianchetto effect to kick in. I mean, come on. So this would be a pass for me. I would rather spend my $350 or 15,000 pesos or close to 20,000 pesos on something else. Speaking of spending my $350 on something else, there are great alternatives out there that will not break the bank. First is the regular classic leather available year round. Plus, as the name suggests, classic, pretty much timeless and I think they will continue to do so in the decades to come. I even included them in my worth it sneakers list video which you can check out on the link above as well as on the description section below. Best part is they cost less than $350 so I bet you could buy like a handful of them with that budget. Now if you are the bougie type, well congratulations cause I guess you don't really need to choose huh? But if you are not sure about them like myself, there are other designer sneakers your $350 is better off at. You don't need to look very far, fortunately buying a pair of Mason Margiela footwear is far better than the collab. Not only for the superior quality but for the price. The brand also holds seasonal sales which has helps out those who want a piece of this iconic brand but wouldn't want to spend that much, like myself. So feel free to check out their website to be constantly updated with their seasonal sales and other new products. So what did you think? Would you be coming a pair of this magnificent pair of sneakers? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, do subscribe to the channel to be updated with the latest art trends sneaker news as well as great alternatives. Once again, this is Martin Says and see ya!